This video is designed to help you start a cell phone repair business. At the end of the video, you'll find a valuable gift. It's a cell phone repair business plan that you can download and will lay down for you, step by step, everything you need to know to start a successful cell phone repair business of your own. If you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Cell phone repair businesses help save consumers money by repairing broken phones, so consumers don't have to purchase new ones. Common phone repairs include cracked screen repair and replacement, battery replacement, button, and headphone jack repair, and camera repair, though you'll probably see plenty of other issues while in business, too. Some repair businesses have a physical storefront, where customers can bring their damaged phones. At the same time, smaller startups may opt for a mobile repair business model to save on rental or lease fees while also offering the customer the convenience of a traveling repair person. If you're considering starting a cell phone repair business of your own, this video can help you understand the potential startup costs, your potential earnings, and what to expect as you start your business. Target Market Because smartphones have a higher price point, and are more expensive to replace than more basic phones, the majority of mobile phone repair clients are smartphone owners. Pew Research Center states that younger people, People with higher education levels and higher incomes are more likely to be smartphone users. However, smartphone ownership in Americans age 50 and older has risen substantially. Simply put, the target market for a cell phone repair business is owners of damaged devices that are new and expensive enough to justify repairing rather than replacing. After coming up with a business idea, the next step in starting any business should be to write a business plan. Not only will a bank require you to have one to get funding, but multiple studies have shown that a business plan helps increase the odds of starting a successful business. A well thought out cell phone repair business plan will serve the entrepreneur as the road map for their business, helping them achieve their business goals. Name the business. Finding the perfect business name can be challenging. Not only does the name have to resonate with your customers, but it also has to be available to use. Select your location. Cell phone repair businesses typically follow two models, a physical storefront, or a mobile business. The mobile business option may be appealing, because of the costs it saves over rent, but remember that this business design will require travel time, and create wear and tear on your vehicle. It can also limit your repair capacity. For a brick and mortar cell phone repair store, a lease can be a significant but necessary expense. Storefront space in a high traffic area, or kiosk in a mall can generate walk-in traffic, and naturally spread awareness of a business. Lease costs vary according to the size of the space and its location. A cell phone repair business can also be run out of a home as a mobile phone repair service. This can be a good setup to test the market, and see if there is enough business before investing in a permanent location. Get your marketing ready. Marketing is essential for cell phone repair businesses, because customers will only return when their phones are broken, so repair businesses can't rely much on repeat business. Because of the nature of the repair business. A budget needs to include marketing expenses. Marketing will be commonly anything, from sending out direct mail postcards to handing out business cards, flyers, and brochures to advertising online to leverage digital marketing power through Facebook, Instagram, Yelp, Craigslist, and other social media platforms to drive business. As the business becomes better known for its excellent service, word of mouth referrals will be a powerful source of new customers. Exact costs will depend on the type of volume of marketing that's best for each business. Hiring employees. Many cell phone repair businesses are owned and operated by a single person, however, it is important to consider having at least one part-time employee, if the owner is sick or needs to take time off. Larger businesses with many clients may hire employees, to help keep up with the demand. According to Glassdoor, the average salary, for a cell phone repair technician is $32,606. In addition to budgeting for employee salaries, be prepared to pay for taxes, workman's comp insurance, and paid time off for employees. One of the advantages of starting a cell phone repair business, is that its startup costs are relatively minimal compared to other brick and mortar businesses. You'll still need a budget to get started, but the following costs can give you a sense of just how much you'll need to save up. Some costs to start a cell phone repair business include, chairs, $40 to $80 each, workstation desk. $200 to $400. Articulating light, $100 to $250. Tools like tweezers, screwdrivers, UV light, etc., $50 to $100. Repair parts inventory and supplies. Need to be sure you have sufficient stock, 
For most phones as customers don't want to wait long, $200 and $800 minimum. Phone accessories, screen protectors, and cases to upsell, $150 to $400. Repair ticketing and invoicing system. Working capital for payroll, rent, utilities, etc. The right tools make a difference, in efficiency and doing the job right. It may be tempting to save some money, by purchasing less expensive tools, but consider you will be using these for multiple hours each day. Also, while buying certified replacement parts will cost a little more, the quality of those parts is a lot better than third-party vendors, that you might find on eBay or Amazon. This will ultimately result in a better experience for your customers. The next part of the video is not specific to a cell phone repair business. Nevertheless, this knowledge is essential for success in the cell phone repair business, as well as in any other business. Ignore it at your own peril. Operating a successful cell phone repair business will depend on the following four conventions. 1. A practical plan, with a solid foundation. 2. Dedication, and willingness to sacrifice, to reach your goal. 3. Technical skills. 4. Basic knowledge of management, finance, record keeping and market analysis. As a new owner, you will need to master these skills, and techniques, if your business is to be successful. Finding a niche. Small businesses range in size from a manufacturer, with many employees, and millions of dollars in equipment, to the lone window washer, with a bucket and a sponge. Obviously, the knowledge and skills, required for these two extremes, are far apart, but for success they have one thing in common. Each has found a business niche, and is filling it. The most critical problems you will face, in your early planning, will be to find your niche, and determine the feasibility of your idea. Get into the right business at the right time, is very good advice, but following that advice, may be difficult. Many entrepreneurs plunge into a business venture, so blinded by the dream, that they fail to thoroughly evaluate its potential. Is your business idea feasible? Before you invest time, effort, and money, the following exercise will help you separate sound ideas, from those bearing a high potential for failure. Identify and briefly describe, the business you plan to start. Identify the product or service, you plan to sell. Answering yes, to any of the following three questions, means you are on the right track. A negative answer, to all of them, means the road ahead could be rough. 1. Does your product or service, satisfy an unfilled need? 2. Will your product or service, serve an existing market, in which demand exceeds supply? 3. Will your product or service be competitive, based on its quality, selection, price, or location? Market Analysis for a small business to be successful, the owner must know the market. To learn the market, you must analyze it, a process that takes time and effort. You don't have to be a trained statistician, to analyze the marketplace, nor does the analysis have to be costly. Analyzing the market is a way to gather facts, about potential customers, and to determine the demand for your product or service. The more information you gather, the greater your chances of capturing a segment of the market. Know the market before investing your time and money in any business venture. The following questions, will help you collect the information necessary to analyze your market, and determine if your product or service will sell. This brief exercise will give you a good idea, of the kind of market planning you need to do. An answer of no, to any of the questions, indicates a weakness in your plan, so do your research, until you can answer each question with a yes. 1. Do you know who your customers will be? 2. Do you understand their needs and desires? Three. Do you know where they live? 4. Will you be offering the kind of products or services, that they will buy? 5. Will your prices be competitive, in quality and value? 6. Will your promotional program be effective? 7. Do you understand how your business compares with your competitors? 8. Will your business be conveniently located, for the people you plan to serve? 9. Will there be adequate parking facilities, for the people you plan to serve? Planning your startup. The following questions are grouped according to function. They are designed to help you prepare for opening day. Merchandise. Have you decided what items you will sell or produce, or what services you will provide? Have you made a merchandise plan, based upon estimated sales, to determine the amount of inventory you will need to control purchases? Have you found reliable suppliers, who will assist you in the startup? Have you compared the prices, quality, and credit terms, of suppliers? Business records. Are you prepared to maintain complete records, of sales, income and expenses, accounts payable, 
and receivables? Have you determined how to handle payroll records, tax reports, and payments? Do you know what financial reports should be prepared and how to prepare them? Finances. A large number of small businesses fail each year. There are a number of reasons for these failures, but one of the main reasons is insufficient funds. Too many entrepreneurs try to start and operate a business without sufficient capital, money. To avoid this dilemma, you can review your situation by analyzing the following three questions. 1. How much money do you have? 2. How much money will you need to start your business? 3. How much money will you need to stay in business? In order to answer the second question, how much money will you need to start your business? You need to prepare an estimate of all your startup costs. Here is a list of items you may need to take into account. Note that this list is for a retail business. Items will vary for service, construction, manufacturing or online firms. Decorating and remodeling, fixtures and equipment, installing fixtures and equipment, services and supplies, beginning inventory cost, legal, professional fees, licenses and permits, telephone utility deposits, insurance, signs, advertising for opening, unanticipated expenses. Now, the answer to the third question, how much money will you need to stay in business? Must be divided into two parts, immediate costs, and future costs. From the moment the door to your new business opens, a certain amount of income may come in. However, this income should not be projected in your operating expenses. You will need enough money available to cover costs for at least the first three months of operation. The following list will help you project your operating expenses on a monthly basis. Typical expenses for one month may include your living costs, employee wages, rent, advertising, supplies, utilities, insurance, taxes, maintenance, delivery, transportation, miscellaneous. Now sum up the total estimated monthly expenses and multiply it by three. This is the amount of cash you will need to cover operating expenses for three months. Deposit this amount in a savings account before opening your business. Use it only for those purposes listed in the above list because this money will ensure that you will be able to continue in business during the crucial early stages. By adding the total startup costs to the total expenses for three months, you can learn what the estimated costs will be to start and operate your business for three months. By subtracting the totals of the lists from the cash available, you can determine the amount of additional financing you may need, if any. Now you will need to estimate your operating expenses for the first year after startup. The first step in determining your annual expenses is to estimate your sales volume, month by month. Next, determine the cost of sales. You may want to use a spreadsheet to do this. After startup, the primary source of revenue in your business will be from sales, but your sales will vary from month to month because of seasonal patterns and other factors. It is important to determine if your monthly sales will produce enough income to pay each month's bills. An estimated cash flow projection will show if the monthly cash balance is going to be subject to such factors as the following. Failure to recognize seasonal trends. Excessive cash taken from the business for living expenses. Too rapid expansion. And slow collection of accounts if credit is extended to customers. Conclusion. If you have carefully answered all the questions in this video, you have seriously thought about your goal. However, there may be some things you may feel you need to know more about. Owning and running a cell phone repair business is a continuous learning process. Research your idea and do as much as you can yourself, but don't hesitate to seek help from people who can tell you what you need to know. As we conclude this video, it's time you get your free cell phone repair business plan gift. Go to the description below this video to get it now. It is completely free, no strings attached. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this.